Live from Wish TV's 24-hour News 8, this is breaking news. That breaking news, a child rushed to the hospital late this afternoon after being hit by a train. It happened on Lynnhurst, just south of Rockville Road. 24-hour News 8's Julian Grace, live near the scene now with the very latest. Julian, what can you tell us? Well, Dave, I can tell you that news conference just wrapped up about five or seven minutes ago here in front of Garden City Elementary School. And the reason why it happened here is because the train track is just behind the elementary school. The fire department calls it an area that's off the beaten path. Let's go to video from the scene. This was the scene shortly after we arrived. As you can see, the train came to a complete standstill. The call for help came in around 245. That is according to the Wayne Township Fire Department about a person in distress. When they arrived, they found a child who had been injured and who had been hit by the train. Now, why that child was near the train tracks or on the train tracks, the fire department wouldn't uh, release those details at this point. They did say an adult family member was with the little girl. The little girl was conscious and talking when she was rushed to uh, Riley Hospital, but beyond that, we didn't get any uh, additional updates about her condition. She is still in critical condition. Now, neighbors that are in this area, they say that they heard a loud boom. Well, first they heard screeching and then a loud boom, and then that's when they came outside. Now, we're still trying to find out more information from the fire department. We are told that CSX is investigating this case along with IMPD, but there's still many questions out there that remain that the fire department says at this point they just can't answer. What they can tell you is that the girl is in critical condition at Riley Hospital. They do not have an age at this point either. We're going to continue to follow up with the Wayne Township Fire Department and also with neighbors here in this community about what they have to say about this tragic event. We'll continue to follow this story. Any new information, you can read all about it on wishtv.com. For now, reporting live in Wayne Township, Julian Grace, 24-Hour News 8.